Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in this how to make Xamarin Forms e-commerce application course. In this video we are just gonna set up a master detail page in which uh, we will define the menu where we present the product categories like dress, pants, shoes. When users select category we redirect the user to products page. So this is we're gonna kill the C sharp and Xamarin forms um, framework prism template. So if this is your first experience in Xamarin forms, I recommend you to go ahead and read my post is how to set up Xamarin forms project with prism template and all this available at learntechnology.fr. So here we can get step by step how to make and set up the project. Awesome, let's just go started with today's video. So as always, I have opened up Visual Studio 2019 and I have done um, is created a new project, examining forms with Prism template. So let's create a new Elm Master Details page and let's go to the view model and change the parent class to V view model base and the XAML, and the XAML page let's define which called the master detail page dot the master page in which we'll define the navigation page let's add the title and the icon image source it will be ec hamburger dot png and it's it's defined in the Android resources um, images. So let's add the content page. It will be agree that contains tag layout and we represent the title of our categories and we need to add a separator. It's box view. So let's add some styles to this box view. Let's go ahead and define some styles here in the app.xaml page so let's add the style tag let's give a key which will be the box view separator style and the target type will be the box view now let's define the different properties like the margin the higher quest and the horizontal options and the color of this a boxy view that's why we need to define the tag color we give it a key we give it a key and the value and we need only to bind this um, uh, style to uh, the view box style property no this is will be the first item of our menu let's duplicate it two times and it will be for dresses, pants, and shoes. Great, let's define the Android project to the startup project. And finally, we need to define the detail of this master page. It will be by default the main page. So we need to add view tags and import namespaces and don't forget to change the navigation the first navigation page in the app.xml.cs to the Elm master detail page no we need to define the navigation bar to false and we have done here it's awesome so let's add a stack layout like parent container here inside the grid and i think we need to change this to fill and expand that's great so let's add some styles here for our levels menu levels so we need to add the margin vertical text alignment the font size and the text color let's see that's great so let's move this styles to the app.xaml page add the black color and 
bind it to the text color property using the static resource the name or the key of your color and let's add the vertical alignment to center and let's delete all these properties and bind it the style property to menu item label style let's run that's great and we need just to copy it for the other labels and we have done here that's great it's awesome so after that we need to create a new page called um, products page in which we will show the list of products available in the selected category so all we need is to add a collection view and bind its item source to the product list define the item layout and define the data template before that we need to change the parent class for the page view model the products page view models to base view models so inside the xml page we need to define the collection view now and in the data template we need to bind the different property like the image the um, the product name the price with the property of our product model will define after that in a new project before that we need to define um, the navigation system here so we're gonna use which called the gesture recognizer so here we need to um, bind this tab gesture recognizer command that's why we need to add a name for the page let's call it master page and bind this command to the source it will be the reference to our page and the path to the command is the binding context which represent the binding context of the current page dot your um, command defined in uh, the view model uh, C sharp class so let's give it a name it will be menu item click command define the number of tabs required in our case we need one tab and the command parameters here which will be the category name so dresses pants and chooses let's move to the view model and for a clean code we need to define um, two region for one for properties and other for commands so now let's define the commands here it will be the menu item click it commands and set the setter to private in the constructor we need to define a new delegate command type of string and uh, takes the delegate it will be a method called menu item click and inside we define the navigation service dot navigate um, to the product uh, page so we need to make navigation page name of navigation page slash the name of product name and we can use a string but the best of practices is use the name of in which if your page changed name so that's um, changed uh, automatically in the code we need to pass here um, the category name that's why we need to use which call navigation params so it's um, a list of uh, key value um, it's a list of key values so we define the category name and uh, the value is this uh, the standard value from uh, the ui now in the product page view model we need to, we need to override the unnavigate unnavigated page and we'll get the category name so before that we need to give a title here in order to see uh, the right value here so that's great and the products page we can see the category name at the top of the bar so now let's decommand this um, XAML code and we need to create a new project 
uh, called models. So this is best of practices. We need to separate the models in other project. So let's create a new folder called models in which we define the product models and the base model with which contain it will contain the ID at the moment and the second moment that can take the modification date, the updated date, the deleted date, etc. So on the product model, we need to define some properties here, like the name, the price, the thumbnail uh, URL and the type or the category of our product. That's why we need to define what's called the enumeration. Let's create a new folder called enums. Inside, we'll define product, products enum, type of enum structure. And let's define the different categories. We have dresses, pants, and shoes. Great. And define the property called category cool the products page view model we need to define um, the the property for binding the list of products so to represent this in prism or the binding context we need to use the set property um, to the private product list and set the value. This is how we can create the binding uh, property. So it works like a terrible collection. Now we're gonna create um, a new project, a new uh, folder, excuse me, called services, in which we'll define the product services or provider that will provide us the list of available products by category name. So let's define the interface method called get products by category name and in the product services we extend this interface in which we define the content of this um, uh, method. So don't forget in the mpp.xml.cs to register your services like a dependency in the in the Unity container. And here, I think, yes, need to change the space name. That's great. And I forgot to add the parameter in this method called um, category name type of string, type of string. And finally, we need to parse this string like enumeration and make the selection of um, the workloads uh, using the category uh, product name. Cool. Now, let's add I product services interface like a dependency in a products page view model and we create a new field. And finally, let's uh, define the title. For example, it will be the category name and in any data method, we need to initialize the product list with the selected list of uh, products by category name. And we need to add an example here for the price, the currency uh, format. And let's call the any data in unnavigated page method. So let's select the dress. So before that, we need to, I think, uh, upgrade um, all the package, NuGet package, to the last version. Accept the contract. That's great. Let's run and see. Select dresses, for example, here. Here we go. And now we have the list of our products. So let's change some example here properties in order to have a beautiful um, user interface. So let's change the row definition to O2. That's great. And let's encapsulate the image by a frame in order to have some shadow drop it. Uh, something like this. Uh, 
add the border to light gray and the margin. That's great. That's all for today. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share the video if you like it. Thank you very much.